All right, welcome back to the second part, the second unboxing surgery, where we rip into toys and CDs and everything we can find. And I tell you what, these Trick or Treat Studio toys are freaking awesome, fantastic. And uh, what would you think of the last two? We had Captain Spaulding, we had The Professor. Today we're gonna get into the last three. The last three. Look, the professor's kind of drunk, he can't stand up. We're gonna let uh, Mary Unbox Otis. Yeah, there we go. No, we're not doing it the way I do it. It's fine, whatever. So we do keep these boxes after we're done. Thanks to, again, we want to thank Renegade Toys there in Bourbon, Ohio for hooking us up. One of our favorite toy stores of all time. Just open him up. Open him up. Yes, we got him, Otis, the kitty cat. I'm gonna talk about Dusty Rhodes, but uh, of course, um, a lot of people don't know this. Actually, everybody knows this, but Bill, Bill Mosley plays Otis Driftwood in this movie. And if you look into that link, I, I'll, I'll put it in this video too, down in the comments. That video shows the background of the Firefly. Firefly, I always say Firefly. I think I got two years old. I wanna beat the poopy. I don't know wait the pudding. All right, sorry. But <laughs> he's technically not related to them. He's kind of like an adopted son who likes being a serial killer. So there we got Otis. And it looks like he came with a lantern. And it looks like a book of like some kind of rituals at the end of a House of a Thousand Corpses, of course. Or spells. It, it, has, it looks like he's reciting some kind of incantations from beyond the realm of the living. We got Tiny's, came with Tiny's leg. In the book of incantations, a book of spells, if you will. Look, it's not. I don't think it's the Necronomicon. No, no it's not. The lantern it turns on, I believe. Does it turn on? Huh? Right, like well, tap something? I don't know. You're the one holding it. My hands are tied right now. <laughs> we got that little lantern. Let's see what Otis looks like. These are freaking cool. I like these a lot. I mean, they're people say, oh, these kind of look goofy. If you are one of those people saying that's totally cool, but I disagree with you, Mafako. Otis Driftwood, look at that. He looks freaking awesome. Of course, that's his Halloween night. <laughs> you know who you know who he played in uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2, don't you? The brother. Chop Top. Yeah, that's, that's right. Did, did you get her, Bubba? <laughs> the Mel. Like... <laughs> Dog will hunt. Dog will hunt. All right, so there's Otis Driftwood, everyone. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put him over here by the clown with the dirty shoes. Clown with the dirty shoes. Next, we're going to open up. Baby, <laughs> sh show, the, show the folks up there. We have two views of perspective now. I'm not used to this. Forgive me. I don't have a shot of the back of her head. We're going to cut that out. All right, we're going to open up. Of course, our newest kitty cat, we named her Baby after this. So Otis has a sister. So you should always be careful when you need a sharp object, whether it's safety scissors, I don't care. It's still a sharp object. You know, it is true. Right? If you're if you're watching this right now, if you're a little kid, or an sure, adult, or an adult, even an adult, or an old person, if you're a human being and you're watching this right now, or a or, or a really smart, I was about to say that too, <laughs> or a really smart monkey like like Caesar from the Planet of the Apes, or that be, one. Uh, be careful with scissors. They can cause injury, harm, and they can get dull if you drop them on the floor. She's, it can cause um, uh, loss of blood, loss, uh, of, blood. You know, loss of common sense. All of we found Tiny's other leg. Now, now he's good kicking two ways now. Two ways from Sunday, you can kick everyone to us. Oh, look, it's Fish Boy! It's Fish Boy! Put fish Boy up here. Wow, look at this. This, this just, this definitely looks like that. 
Yeah, yeah that's pretty well done, I think. Yeah. Our of course, she wore this during this. The she wore this outfit during the um, show where they're doing the show time. Yeah, it's show time. I like it. I kind of wish they would have made a Hugo action oh, figure. Oh, look at her heels. One's... Who do you think? Who who'd win a fight? Harley Quinn or Baby Firefly? Harley Quinn, definitely. Harley Quinn has more experience. I know that's. And oh, more she just fell over. She's done. And she's more athletic too. All right, who else do we have here? We got Doctor Satan. Doctor Satan. Go ahead and open him up. Even when in use of sharp objects, you should not be near someone. You could get stabbed, yep. cut, scraped, anything. And who likes pain? You uh, are. Unless it's uh, yeah. never mind. Some people like pain, you know, but pain isn't good. Some people don't even feel pain. Let's well, see so what we got. But that isn't good either. That means even worse health problems because then you know you don't know it hurts. <laughs> you know, that's actually very serious. I know. If you don't feel pain and you just have this thing where you don't feel pain, in them, that's really dangerous because then you won't know if you're going to have a stroke or something. Or... Yeah, that kind of reminds me of a Sam Raimi superhero movie, The Dark Man. He gets his one main nerve cut off and he can't feel pain anymore. Well, he can't feel anything anymore. And he becomes a superhero after he's hideously deformed. Okay, here we go. We got House of Thousand Corpses. Let's get a shot here. All right, we got Dr. Satan, that motherfucker. No, of course, he was an urban legend. He got caught experimenting on mentally ill patients and trying to make, um. trying to create super mentally, um, he was going to mentally control these people and become like monsters and kill people with them. But he got caught. He got hung by a tree by the locals. And then his body disappeared. Looks and like a uh, camera mix with now the front bar really yeah, is well, just, As you can and see. it moves, dude. Look at that. It moves, dude. You can't, get, you can't get anything cooler than that. All this oh, his stuff is better. Well, his, he's like 100 years old, so he can barely. He needs. Uh, he Plastic needs, surgery. He will. <laughs> yeah, that. But he also. If you, as you can see, the shackles around his arm. He needs those in order to move because he's so damn old. He's a brilliant, like, scientist. If he's older than the guy, how come he can move? And, you know, he's not a crusty, but the one, but the grandpa in the chain massacre, whatever thing, he's all crusty. He can that's barely hold question. a hammer. So, so the, <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good comparison, actually. Yeah. So there we got Dr. Saint. He's like his back. Let me see that. It's got like an X on the back. Yeah. X marks yeah, so the spot. So you got to plug in his uh, breathing apparatus. That's like him. He's got to stab him into the, his uh his uh him and my his spinal cord. So then he can breathe. <laughs> he definitely doesn't feel that. Yeah. And then you poke this hole into his uh <laughs> his mouth. <laughs> the hole that's inside his hole. <laughs> I know he looks like a fish. Oh, there you go. There he is. And I uh, don't mind his balding. I don't even know why he still has blonde hair, even though he's like 100 plus years he old. He looks like uh, Hulk Hogan. Kind That's of. something a lot of people would be hey, jealous of. Hold still of. for a second. Like, imagine if you were still blonde and you, when you're 100 plus years old, <laughs> instead of having all white or gray hair. Yeah, that's weird. I never noticed how blonde his baby is. Go ahead and give him his, Maybe he died give him his drill there. Let's check out his drill. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Go ahead, have him hold it. Here, no, it's not a big deal. I don't think he all—it's uh, really big for his hands. He's got little baby hands, like the, like uh, Robin from the Teen Titans go. Because uh, everybody makes fun of him because he has baby hands. Can't see it. Like what? There Who cares? You have your small hands, okay? No, he has baby hands. They can have small hands. <laughs> Why gotta make fun of Robin? Like he lost his pants when he was a kid. Yep. He has trauma. He has child trauma. So there we go. We got Dr. Satan standing right here. We're going to put him right there. And I hope you've enjoyed this second video of unboxing surgery. Trick or, trick or Treat Studios with their awesome lineup of House of a Thousand Corpses action figures. But we got all these spare parts here. We got a leg. We got two legs. I'm going to another arm. You know what? We're missing something. Go get that. We got something else we got to show. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. 
Close your eyes. <laughs> Would you oh, call me? you mad now. If you're taking it personal, then I'm, here we go. Here, you can take it up with the HR, which means hardcore revelations. And here we go. We got a we got a toy case exclusively for these action figures. Now we're we're gonna supposed to do this two months ago. So we'll show you that okay. here. We'll show you that here in the third video. Say good night, Mary Jane. Well, <laughs> well.